Hey Beavers, I'm Ty Vila and with the track season wrapping up, Gina Spadaro and I wanted to ask the athletes about their seasons. How has the men's distance team been holding up? Uh, so far it's been uh, pretty good this season. It's We've had ups and downs with injuries and such. We had one kid break an ankle first meet up for outdoor in the steeplechase, but so far everyone's had some PR performances thus far. We've had multiple school records broken across the field, not just in distance, but also sprints and jumps and stuff like that. So, But for the distance team, we've had one of the best years since I've been here. So, so Terrell, you know, you had a very successful career here at Bluffton. Um, you know, coming off of especially last year, you know, being an All-American and all that, what, what were some of your goals coming into this season? Um, I think one of my main goals, of course, was to try to repeat last year and try to get back to indoor and outdoor nationals and also climb up on that podium a little bit higher. Um, unfortunately, with injuries that you can't really control, I wasn't able to do that, but those were my goals for this year. What is the biggest transition from high school track to college track? Uh, the workouts are a lot different. Like This is more like strength training and like technique and stuff. Coming off a pretty a pretty solid freshman freshman season for you, um, what are some things that you'll take from this year into next year? Um, some things I'll take into next year probably would be um, my work ethic and like the workouts because like every week I've gotten better. So like the workout plans we get into, I'll just like keep doing that over summer. Like even when we're not in season, come back it'll be better. And then I would just take like what I'm doing now and then use it for football too. It would be way better. Who was your role model as a freshman? As a freshman, I would say my role model would role model would be my ball coach, Coach Dillon. Um, he had a very successful career here at Bluffton too. He was an All-American, and he would always tell me about his experiences. And I was always just like, Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to get to the nationals. I want to be an All-American. And um, I just kind of just followed in his footsteps, I guess. What is one piece of advice you give to a prospective student interested in track and field? It's a lot of hard work. Uh, you want to make sure you're committed to the sport before you do it. College uh, is a lot different than high school. You have to actually want to do it. You can't come out for a social aspect. It's, it's a lot of hard work and I don't know. It's it's tough. You go through your ups and downs through the season. You're not always going to have the greatest race, but if you stay to it and you enjoy it, you'll have a good time. So, The Beavers track and field team are more focused than ever. You can stay up to date with all the spring sports on the athletics page on the Bluffton website. You can also stay up to date with what's happening around campus at BluftonWit.com or by following at BluftonWit on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. This has been Ty Avila, and thank you for watching our Bluffed in Track and Field Insider. If you like the video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button up here in the corner. If you want to see our previous video that we did, go down here and click this thumbnail down here. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.